Hey, 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 all right, everybody. Now, you might be wondering, what's he doing standing by you with two electric bikes? I mean, what's he doing by there? <laughs> um, I, I was doing a, a review video on easy bikes and I, uh, I wanted to address a couple of things yesterday uh, about the video I did yesterday about Rowan Atkinson. And in that video, I did say that um, it's best to hold on to your. It's better to hold on to your old car than to buy a new electric car because it'll be better for the environment. Now, a few people said they don't agree with me, um, so I've tried to look into it, and it's a mixed bag. It's, it's very difficult to get uh, sort of the correct answer. Um, so I need to look into it a bit more because so far I've looked into it and what, what it is, you, you go on, you go on, you, you try and look, at, look into something and one article says this is how much CO2's a ton some, one car will give out but then you look at another website and it gives a different answer and I'm like, what? <laughs> so then you look at um, how many CO tons it, uh, it makes to make electric car, and that gives different answers on different websites. So it's not quite, it's not quite a linear, linear answer. It's sort of, it's all over the place. It's a little bit up and down. Um, so I'm, I'm finding it difficult to get the sort of actual answer because there's so many variables. Because um, you've got a little small car versus a big huge electric car. You've got uh, the the grid how green is the grid <laughs> not how green is your valley how green is the grid um so uh i'm trying to work out exactly what's what because because another guy was arguing with me he was arguing in the comment section that is i think he got a skoda diesel he got a skoda diesel and he said he's done 143,000 miles now i went on this website and i typed in 143,000 miles how much ton of CO2 he's pumped into the atmosphere and with making the car and on that particular website it still would have been greener this, this is what I said right it still would have been greener if he'd bought the diesel car so got, scrapped that car and bought an electric car <laughs> let me just say that again uh, it worked out it'd be less tons of CO2 in the atmosphere if he'd bought the diesel car scrapped it bought an electric car and run the electric car for 143,000 miles. That's what I said on one website. So, and I'm like, that can't be right. Can that be right? I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to do a little bit more digging. I'm going to dig, dig a big hole for myself <laughs> and try and find out exactly what the answer is. Now, if you know what the answer is and you've seen loads of studies, put it in the comment section. Is it better? Because what I mean is, if you buy, say I bought a diesel car, right? Uh, once I've bought it, that's it. The, the 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 amount of carbon it's cost, you know, to make that car, it, it's already done. I can't change that because I've already bought the car. And what I'm trying to ask is, is it better for me to just chuck that car in the stingies and buy an electric car, and it'd be better for the environment? Now, like I said, some of the websites say yes, it would be, and then some of the websites say. Ooh, it's touch and go. It's you know, it's like it could be sort of balanced. So I'm trying to look for a, a you know the real answer. Is it better to keep your old car and drive that car until is you know until it, it needs scrapping? Keep that car until end of life and then scrap it, or get rid of that car and replace it with an efficient electric car. That's the answer I'm looking for, um, because I don't want to give out wrong information. If I give out wrong information, I want to make another video to say what I said in the last video was wrong. I don't want to be another misinformation guy, because uh, all I'm doing is giving my opinion. I'm not an not a, a engineer or a scientist or anything like that. I, I'm practical. I, I know how to fix cars, but that's as far as it goes. So if you do know anything better than me, put it in the comment section. I don't mind if it's a big long essay to explain it. Because <laughs> I want to learn. I want to learn. I'm willing to learn. But anyway, I'll do a bit more digging and I'll get back to you in a minute.